it, like in Matt Mayoko here, um, yeah, after lining up next to Joe Staley the past two seasons, what, what's been your initial thoughts on uh, having uh, Trent Williams right next to you? Oh, man, it's been amazing. Uh, just, you know, just going out there, you know, with the walkthroughs we had and then, you know, uh, going into like phase two, it's just been uh, been awesome. You know, credit goes to uh, obviously uh, Shanahan and Lynch. Uh, getting Trent in the billing and, you know, getting solid guys like that is just amazing for our offense. How do you go about building cohesion with somebody you're going to be lining up next to? I mean, do you go up to him to his locker? I mean, is it is it a lot of it talking or is it all sort of built on the field? I, I mean, a lot of it is built, you know, uh, on the field, obviously, when it comes to getting the, the job done as a unit. But, uh, you know, also you, you got to pay a lot of attention to things you guys do, you know, outside of the field in the weight room. You know, you got to, you know, talk to each other, you know, uh, just like kind of figure out how to communicate with each other. And I think me and Trent's been doing a phenomenal job, and not just me and Trent, you know, me and the other guys who have been here, the, the position group as a whole, just being an awesome job. And, you know, it feels great to have, you know, being the, even though we're social distancing, it feels great to be in the same room with the guys and communicating with each other, so. Hey, Lake, and it's Cam Inman of the Mercury News. Can you tell me your first impressions of uh, Javon Kinlaw and uh, just what you're expecting to see going up against him on the practice field? Oh, man, he's just a specimen, you know. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't wait to, you know, uh, go and get some, you know, live, you know, in, in camp. And I'm sure a lot of guys are excited to see him go. And, you know, we're all excited that he's here in the building and, you know, just trying to get some solid work with each other. Hey, Lakin, this is Chris Biederman of the Sacramento Bee. You, you've played next to Weston Richburg a lot. Obviously, this is the second straight off season. He, he's coming back for, from an injury. I'm wondering if uh, what your conversations with him have been like and, and if you have a, um, a feel for his mindset, if he's frustrated or, or where he's at just heading into training camp. I mean, obviously, it's unfortunate, you know, uh, have something like that happen to a player. You know, you never, you know, uh, wish that upon a player. Um, you know, going through it uh, second year, you know, obviously it's a little it's a little frustrating, but you know, his mindset is is on playing football. And um, you know, I actually talked to him, you know, a lot in the off season, you know, text back and forth. And uh, you know, uh, but you know, he's bought in, he's in there in our meetings, he's participating, and you know, his mindset's there, the same mindset he had last year, and you know, he's doing everything he can to get back on the field. Hey, uh, like in a fair amount of the, the players that opted out this season were offensive or defensive linemen. Uh, did, you know, the fact, uh, the nature of, of your job specifically in the trenches give you any pause about playing this season? Uh, you know, uh, everybody have their own situation. Um, you know, uh, with the whole opt out deal, um, you know, and you, know, you have to really ask those players, you know, who decided to, to opt out, but. Me personally, I haven't really uh, uh, thought about it. You know, I already uh, made up my mind uh, during the off season. You know, uh, what I wanted, you know, to do for myself this season for the team, and that's just kind of you know how I've been taking it. You know, taking one day at a time. I trust you know uh, the PA and the league with the regulations that they have uh, for the guys to stay healthy and keep the not only the players healthy but the coaches and the staff and the families as well. So you know, I put my trust in them and you just take it one day at a time. Hey, Lakin, this is Tracy Sandler. Um, I asked Trent Williams last week about not playing with fans, and he said so much of the football you play is without fans, and the fans are really the cherry on top. Do you feel that way? Do you feel like it's going to be weird, or you guys think you'll be fine? Uh, I mean, obviously it's going to be, you know, uh, uh, fairly new to a lot of players, you know, especially the rookies coming in. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting. I, I can't really go either way with it. Because, you know, uh, obviously when you, on game days, playing a home game, it's awesome to have the fans come out. But in, then I think about, you know, going down uh, up to Seattle and, you know, having the fans there. You know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how, you know, it plays out this year. But uh, I can't really go either way with that because, you know, it's, it's, it's going uh, to be something to pay attention to for sure. Hey, Trent, Jennifer Lee Chan. 
Raheem and Trent Williams are both talking about how much energy is in the building, just coming back, you know, trying for that kind of revenge season. Can you share with us what it's like on the field, what it's been like in meetings? Oh, man, it's been the energy that we have here. You know, I'm just speaking for the offense, but, you know, I'm sure you can definitely hear it on the defense, especially with uh, some of the coaches they have over there. But uh, um, especially for the offense, a lot of energy. You know, guys are super excited to uh, get to work, work with each other, talk to each other. And, you know, uh, we have our, you know, our mindset on, on the ultimate goal ahead of us. But, you know, we understand that we got to take it one day at a time. And, you know, uh, we got to do everything it takes to get to where we want to be. And um, we got to come in every day, you know, have a, uh, the mindset to win. And, you know, that's just, I, f I feel that in everybody here. And, you know, that's just an awesome feeling, except in the building, everyone having the same energy. Hey, Chief. Uh, William Hammonds here, sports fans. Rap. How's it going? I'm good, man. How you doing? Oh, uh, doing good. I was just kind of curious, and with all the COVID and everything taking place, how does that affect the bonding of the team uh, in terms of you guys would be able to be much closer if this wasn't in effect. Um, how does that affect and how would that uh, mature itself onto the field, if you will? And then the other question is your thoughts on the NCAA season essentially over and how that may affect some of these guys looking to go into the, uh, the pro league. Uh, I've, I've definitely seen some of the stuff, you know, going on with the NCAA. Um, Obviously, you've seen the effect that uh, the pandemic has had in, you know, in training camp. But, uh, you know, I, I can speak for the league that, you know, we have, you know, the union with the PA, you know, uh, going out there and devising, uh, uh, devising a, a protocol, you know, with the league for the players um, to be to stay protected and, you know, have the staff being protected as well. Um, but then again, you know, uh, whatever decision, you know, our organization decides to 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 make you know it's for the player interests so you know whatever you know they believe is best for the players you know i give my 100 percent trust in them so i think we got one more lake and it's jennifer again you have a couple guys coming back on offense that are coming back from injury uh you know what have you seen from them energy wise you know in meetings and practice fields what do you see especially from jared mckinnon oh Oh, Jet Life, man. Oh, man. He's, he's a hell of a guy. I mean, I love his energy. I've always loved his energy. Uh, man, I, I'm excited, you know, to see what he does, you know, when we put the pads on, you know, when we get going. But uh, the and like I said before, you know, the energy has been there. You know, guys are excited to be back to work and, you know, guys are excited to, you know, work hard and grind this camp. And, and you know, it's all about, you know, working hard and paying attention to detail. And I feel like the guys, the type of guys that we have in this building, Everybody's bought into that, so you know uh, you can feel it. You know, guys, you know, who who were hurt, guys, new guys coming in, rookies coming in. You feel it in everybody, and that's that's something truly exciting. 